And that's kind of what I'm getting at with Detroit is I feel the same way about the Lions offense right now, at least, that I feel about the Chiefs offense, where there's a lot of panic in Kansas City. Oh, Lord, like we're we're not cashing in the red zone, turning the football over, the drops. It doesn't look like the same offense it was a year ago, despite the fact that a lot of guys that are here now were here a year ago. But, guys, it's Mahomes, it's Reed, it's Kelsey. They're going to get it figured out. They're going to get it figured out. I kind of feel the same way about the Lions. Dan Campbell, you know, we make fun of the kneecap biting all this. He's a smart situational head coach. He's a guy who, you know, Dan Campbell gets the, in my opinion, completely undeserved and completely unfair moniker as like kind of a meathead. I don't like, I don't like that at all. Dan Campbell's a, first, first of all, he's a former player. So he, he knows the game from that aspect. And more than he gets credit for, he relies on analytics. Now, I think he kind of, he's, I don't say he uses it too much. Sometimes he's a little too reliant on analytics, but at least he uses them. Again, it's, it's like I saw a quote from Derek Jeter the other day talk about baseball. He said, and it's it almost verbatim what I've said, so it, it felt good to have uh, one of the greatest to ever validate me on that. Uh, Derek Jeter said, you, you, you should use analytics. You're doing a disservice to your ball club if you don't use them. But you can't measure a guy's heartbeat. That's what Jeter said. So that's, and I don't think Dan Campbell is 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 um, unaware of those things. Like he, so he, it's, it's, it's a good mix of the two. Ben Johnson. Ben Johnson's going to be a head coach next year. I mean, but unless the Lions just crater offensively, Ben Johnson is going to be a head coach of the NFL, especially with all the job openings that they're going to be. The Chargers are going to want him. The Bears are going to want him. You know, I don't think Arizona will fire their head coach, but he'll have plenty of opportunities and plenty of options, I assume, this upcoming winter. But smart guy. Dan Campbell's a smart guy. Jared Goff has been a successful quarterback in this league now for eight years. They'll get it right. They've got the pieces. Amon Ross St. Brown. Jamison Williams by the game, even though Detroit lost, looks more and more comfortable in that Lions offense. That's a good sign. You think about Jameer Gibbs. You think about David Montgomery, who's kind of their power back. They have arguably the best offensive line in football. So they have the pieces. They have the smart people. They have the talent. They have the coaching. I I think they'll get that right. They're in a little bit of a rut right now. Again, they scored 22 in the game. They had 15 points with less than a minute left. So that that was a garbage time touchdown. Obviously, they tried to get the onside kick and didn't get it. Scored 31 against Chicago, but a lot of that was in a late fourth quarter rally. And did score 41 against the Chargers uh, to their in, in their defense. But they're in a little bit of a rut right now offensively. It happens. Dallas had it. Uh, Philadelphia had it at, at one point. Jalen Hurts had a big turnover problem. So it, it, there's ebbs and flows. It's a 17-game season. The season's basically four months now. The regular season is at least. Like it's – you're going to have up and, ups and downs. You can't – if you're a team, if you're a coach, you can't just go with the flow. You can't go with whatever the tide is is is, is doing. It's Detroit's defense I'm a little concerned about. I remember – when I was doing a show from from Disney World, because I remember certain like little nuggets there, I remember saying was when Detroit beat I think it was Tampa Bay. Was it twenty to six? Uh, to six? Yeah, they beat Tampa Bay twenty to six. And then listen, Tampa Bay is in the running for the NFC South, a terrible division, but they're in the running. Detroit beat them. I'm like, guys, uh, Detroit's top ten in scoring offense and top ten in scoring defense. And by the way, I knew the offense was going to be good. Why? It was good last year, and they brought back the same guys and added Jameer Gibbs. So more continuity, another offensive playmaker. I knew the Lions were going to be fine offensively. Defensively, they spent money in free agency. They drafted well. They dra- they spent uh, you know used draft capital on on defensive players a year ago. Aiden Hutchinson, second pick in the draft in twenty twenty two. So I'm like another year with the same guys, adding new guys. Like I think they'll turn it around, and for the most part, they kind of did. But ever since that Baltimore game. Remember they lost 38-6, to six and there was this whole notion, oh, the Lions are frauds. I never bought into that. Still don't buy into that. I think no team in the NFC, Dallas, Philadelphia, San Francisco, they don't want to face Detroit. They don't. But ever since that game, they've struggled a little bit defensively. So they gave up 38 against the Ravens. Gave up 14 on the Raiders, but that was the Jimmy G Raiders. That was still the Josh McDaniels Raiders. So eh, you kind of put a little bit of an asterisk next to that. Gave up 38 to the Chargers. Now that's Justin Herbert. That's Keenan Allen. They got playmakers in LA, but 38... You know, your offense kind of had to save you there. A lot of fourth down conversions. Gave up 26 to Justin Fields of the Bears, okay? Now, now, by the way, Chicago, weird story. They've scored a lot of points this year, so maybe you kind of, but the 28 to the Pack, 29 to the Packers, Jordan Love has his best game as a pro, arguably, other than the first game against Chicago. Like, there's, now some of its injuries is secondary. My man, Emmanuel Mosley, Tennessee guy, got hurt early on after unfortunately getting hurt last season. You got to factor those things in the equation. They do matter. How are they able to bounce back? 
Now, the good news is, is for Detroit, they got the Saints coming up. Saints are, you know, Saints fans feel about Carmichael, the offensive coordinator, the same way I and every other Steelers fan felt about Matt Canada. Get him out of there. Like, fire him. Like, we got the pieces. Just got to move on from the guy. Same same energy. So, you know, you don't know what the Saints are going to be in that game. And they play the Bears. Again, they can score, but it's the Bears. Denver is 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 playing good football, but it's not because they're scoring a lot of points. It's because they're efficient. They're not turning the ball over. They're running the football. It's kind of conservative, but Russell's making plays in the fourth quarter. That's why how Denver's winning games offensively. It's not because they look like you know the Kansas City Chiefs historically with Mahomes and Reed. Minnesota, okay, but Minnesota's got pieces offensively. Dallas, we know what they have offensively. Minnesota again. So there are some games where Detroit can maybe take advantage and some games where it's like they'll be tested. And whether or not they can bounce back, whether or not they can make adjustments remains to be seen. I think they can. I think they have the personnel and the coaching staff to do so. Uh, but we'll see. I, I'm, in a, I'm in a weird spot with Detroit because I'm, I'm still going to – listen, I believe as strongly as anybody in pick integrity. I don't believe in switching up your pick. Okay, last year I picked – is the worst thing I've ever done on carving up live. The most embarrassing thing I've ever done was picking the Broncos to win the Super Bowl. Okay, that did not work out at all. They were one of the worst teams in the league. As an added bonus, I picked them to beat the Rams. The Rams were equally bad. But I didn't switch my pick. I, I, I said who I thought was going to win, and it was Kansas City around midseason, which I ended up being right, but that was my pick. Okay, the Broncos were my pick. This year, Chiefs were my pick to win the, the AFC and went to win it all. Dallas was my pick to win the NFC. And Detroit was my pick to get to the NFC title game and lose to Dallas. Not moving off of that, but there are legitimate concerns there that you got to worry about if you're a Detroit Lions fan. We'll see if they're able to adjust. Thanks so much for watching the show on YouTube, and be sure to go click that big red subscribe button and check out the other clips and full shows from Carving It Up Live as well as our other incredible content creators here on the Grid Network.